Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben. I am back with a very special edition of the series today where I talk about my PC. This is my Ryan Sandberg collection. So those of you who've been watching any of my videos know that I pull out a handful of cards for my PC anytime I'm breaking a collection or a set or a box or a pack. And uh, I always pull out Sean Dunstan, Nolan Ryan, Mark Grace, and Ryan Sandberg. So here is two books that constitute my entire Ryan Sandberg collection. Hundreds and hundreds of Ryan Sandberg cards. We're going to start. I like to keep them in order. Uh, this little sleeve house is anything that doesn't fit in a normal um, nine card sheet here. So we start off with this. The cream of the crop for me. This was this is a 1983 Topps Ryan Sandberg rookie. You can see it's a little off center left to right, but it is otherwise in perfect condition. I got this when I was probably 11 years old. I was living in Iowa at the time. And the back of, I think it was the back of Beckett Price Guide Monthly, they had classified ads. I found a guy in Boston who was selling this. I think I, I bought it for like 60 bucks. And uh, he mailed it to me, this pre-eBay pre days. And uh, I've had it ever since. In this case, I've only touched it one time in real life. So this is my most prized Ryan Sandberg card. And um, you know I'll keep that one for, for forever. Um, then I've got... This line drive, the Ryan Sandberg story, which came with a collection of uh, line drive cards, which uh, I'll show you later. Like there's a shot of him with a mustache for the brief period in 1988. He had a mustache, which was a terrible idea. Um, and then I've got all of these big Donruss cards. So I've got 1987. These are the all-star pop-up all-star sets. I've got tons from this 85 set. All of these in just pristine condition. Got 86, 86, 86, 86, and another 87, 86, and an 84, which is in terrible condition. Um, before we even get into more of the collection here, I should probably mention Ryan Sandberg um, played nearly his entire career for the Chicago Cubs, uh, had one year or partial year with the Phillies, uh, was traded uh, early on to the, and the Phillies it's probably rude that day because he had, uh, after that, um, Played for 16 years for the Cubs, and he had nine consecutive gold gloves, 10 consecutive all-star appearances, a 989 fielding percentage, which was a major league record when he retired, um, a third ballot baseball Hall of Famer. Uh, also, he had the most home runs of any second baseman in a career that he held when he retired, and then I think Jeff Kent broke that record. But um, lifetime batting average, 285, 2,386 hits, 282 home runs, 1,061 RBIs, and then went on to uh, also be... Um, a manager as well. So led the home, led the National League in home runs in 1990 with 40 or 41, I think. And uh, like I said, baseball Hall of Fame member. So let's show you what I got here. I got an 83 Fleer uh, rookie card that I got from Poly Packs. I traded him an 84 Don Russ Don Mattingly for that one. Um, I also got this uh, 83 Tops as a part of one of our collection buys. It's 84 Don Russ, which is a, I think it's just a beautiful looking card. I love the, his his name on the back of the jersey and everything like that. Um, 84 Tops. 85 Donruss, 85 Tops, 85 Tops All-Star, 86 Donruss, a couple of those. Um, these are the 86 Donruss pop-up All-Stars, one of them that's been popped up. Um, 86 uh, Fleer, Classic Mini, uh, 86 Leaf, see there, got a bunch of those in the recent collection I bought. Here is uh, an 86 Meadow Gold Superstar Series from Beatrice. So I love these oddball sets. Also have Quaker Chewy Granola Bars one, as well as uh, Sports Flicks with him and Keith Hernandez and Tim Raines. There's 86 Tops, Tops All-Star. These uh, uh, league leaders, the classic league leaders there. Um, I leave some spaces in here because I like to keep them in order. And every time I get a new one, I don't want to have to shift everything because it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cards. All right, then we got an 87 Burger King All-Pro Second Edition. So that's cool. 87 Donruss. Here's 87 Fleer, including one of them is the uh, glossy version uh, from a tin there. So they all they look exactly the same, but they uh, one of them is glossy. Uh, also the glossy version of this one right here with Dave Parker. And then there's the Fleer Classic Minis. And then the uh, Fleer Award winners. So we have KB Toy Stores. We've got Craft Home Plate Heroes, which is a blank back one. Uh, there's 87 Leaf. There's 87 Opeachy, which is the Canadian version. So you can see, and you can see the... The brighter back on that and then uh, 87 sports flicks so more 87 sports flicks and these are some of those like uh with three other players with two other players 
and uh, then then the regular tops. So you can see all those, and then the tops uh, all star. I love these oddballs. We got Chef Boy RD from '88 here. The classic travel game, uh, red border. Lots of the '88 Donruss. As you guys know, I open a lot of junk wax. There's the 88 Donruss pop-up all-stars when they finally made them normal size. Thank you, Donruss, for that. For that. Then the actual pop-ups down here. And then Donruss Baseball's best with the orange border. Um, I only have one 1988 Fleer base set card for, for Rhino there. There's uh, working with Ozzy Smith. And we got the star stickers and his 88 score. Uh, 87 or uh, 88 score all-star. This is the uh, Yep, this is a special... I forget where the, where these came from, these uh, score all-stars. Then I got the uh, starting lineup, Talking Baseball from 88. All right, then we got 88 tops. Lots of 88 tops and lots of 88 tops. And then even the uh, 88 tops glossies. This is the uh, 88 tops uh, UK minis, uh, as they're kind of colloquially known. Then we have the superstars of him with his mustache, all those years. Then we have some more stickers, more mustache stickers. We got Tops Big. And then on to 89. 89 Bowman, 89 Donruss, 89 Donruss All Stars, pop up All Stars. There's the pop up. And then uh, Baseball's Best right over here for 89. Then we have 89 Fleer, KB Toy Stores, the Kmart Dream Team, 89 Score, uh, the Score Superstars set. And then 89 tops. Lots and lots of 89 tops. And 89 tops all stars. Uh, the glossy all stars. There's some more of the uh, UK minis. Which is actually a really cool set. I mean, I didn't know much about them until this last year, but they're pretty cool. Uh, and we have the stickers, the tops big, more stickers, and then 89 upper deck. I've got just one of these from a partial set break that I got this year. And then the team card from 89. A lot of times I'll leave space at the end of the uh, year so that I can, again, buffer for what I get new cards in there. On to 1990. So this this book goes through his rookie year through and then through 1990, and then I have another book for 91 to the end of his career. So these are the uh, U.S. playing cards up here, 1990 Bowman, the Classics uh, Travel Set, the Collector Books, uh, 90 Donruss, Lots of those. And then these 90 Donners All-Stars, you can see here on the back of these, it says All-Star Performance, All-Star Performance. But I've also got plenty. These are all All-Stars as well. It's plenty that say Recent Major League Performance. So it's about a 50-50 split between the error card and the ver and the uh, corrected version that I have. You see more and more and more. There's his MVP. So more MVP. Lots of 90 Donruss, as everybody else probably has. And then we have the uh, 90 Donruss um, Baseball's Best, which is a very cool set that I like. Uh, 90 Fleer, 90 Fleer Player of the Decade, lots of those. There he is with Hojo for a Superstar Special. Uh, three of those Fleer All-Star Team inserts, and then two of the Fleer Baseball MVP cards there. Let me get some Kmart Superstars and one 1990 Leaf, 1990 Post, and let me get uh, 1990 Score. So I've got a few of those here with his uh, Highlights card. You can see most of them have no position listed, but these two have third base as the wrong position listed here. So two errors there for the 1990 score set. There's the score dream team, which I actually really like the look of these cards. And then there's this uh, score masters, which is like an insert set. I think it came with only, only the factory set breaks. I have a terribly uh, mucked up 1990 Sports Illustrated for Kids uh, tear away card and a bunch of 1990 tops, 1990 tops all-star. Two of the wax bottom, uh, wax box bottoms of uh, the cutouts there. There's a terribly mucked up uh, Topps Big card from when I was a kid. There's the All-Star Glossy. Lots of the Superstar stickers. Lots of the other stickers. And then on to 1990 Upper Deck to finish up the 1990 season. All right, so going back here, put that away. And I'll bring out my second binder. Uh, Ryan Zambert cards. You can see we start with 1991. This is Ball Street. I have no idea where these came from. I think it was a magazine, maybe. But uh, yeah, I've got a couple of these cards in my collection. This is uh, the Ryan Zambert one. I've got the 1991 Bowman uh, Silver Sluggers one. Uh, I don't have his regular one, though. You know, I, I don't go out and buy Ryan Zambert cards individually. I only kind of get them from sets or what I had from when I was a kid. So um, there's a little mini version of the classic board game one. There's the big version. 
And then we have uh, Donruss Diamond Kings. Lots of those, plus his highlight from that year. Lots of those, lots of those. And then the MVPs and All-Stars. And as you can see, in the base cards. So lots of Ryan Zambra cards in that 1991 Donruss set. He did have uh, the, the uh, home run, National League home run title that year. 40 home runs, I think. Uh, then there he is with 91 Fleer. There he is with Cecil Fielder as the home run kings. Cecil Fielder had 51 that year, and Ryan Sandberg had 40. As a second baseman, too, that was pretty remarkable, especially at the time. There he is with, with Andre Dawson. And then we have the Fleer All-Star inserts, plus Jimmy Dean sausages and 91 Leaf. And I, if you recall, at the, or at the beginning of this uh, video, I showed you this line drive set. So this is, these are all a 1991 Ryan Sandberg line drive set when he uh, had a great year, and so they made a nice little subset of them there. So you can see that. And then we have OPG Premier, as well as Post Serial, and on to 1991 Score that we have lots and lots and lots of. Uh, 91 Score All-Stars, I love those character cards. He was the man of the year for Score that year, 1990. Does a lot of great charitable work. Um, there is with the franchise, also a very good looking card set, subset there. Uh, there's the Score Superstars, and then, uh, Stop Stadium Club with his 83 rookie on the back there. I always like seeing that. Uh, 1991 Studio, good looking shot of him there. Record Breakers with Tops. Let's just take a peek here and see. There's my black light. What I've got for Glowbacks here, since you know I'm always on the hunt for Glowbacks. So there's a Glowback, Glowback, Glow, Glow. So all those are Glows. Let's see. Uh, non Glow, Non Glow, Non Glow, Non Glow, Glow, Glow. So a good healthy mix there of the uh, record breakers in terms of glow or non-glow. Uh, mo more glows than non, I guess. Uh, All-Star, you can see I already have a glow and a non-glow. Uh, let's see, All-Stars. Glow, glow, non-glow, glow, glow, non-glow, non, non, non. Still All-Stars. We got glow, 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 glow. And then the base card, we've got all the light. Um, you can see all light watermarks there. Glow, glow, non-glow. Um, all light watermarks there, no dark watermarks at all. I wonder if he does, if he has them. There's a glow, and, and these are all non glow. There's a glow, non, non, non glow. But I don't see any dark watermarks, so maybe he is one that doesn't have a dark watermark. Yeah, none. So there's glow, glow, and glow. And then we've got the uh, tiny little uh, Tops mini ones here. These are not the Cracker Jack minis, these are the Tops minis. And then we got Bazooka Tops and then Clear Ultra. So lots and lots of variations in that 91 top set. That's why I love it. Uh, 91 upper deck, you can see. And then we have the MVP lineup with uh, Andre Dawson, Ryan Sandberg, and Jorge Bell. Um, all three of them are MVPs at various points in their career. And then this is from the 1991 Tops final edition. Uh, there's Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, and, and Ryan Sandberg with the, the All-Star game. And, um, and there he is with the, with the All-Star game there. So two cars I just pulled out of a set break. Moving on to 1992, I don't know what this card is. I'm gonna pull this one out and take a look here. Um, it has no real branding on it. It's just some kind of unlicensed card that exists, so I don't know what to make of that one. But I, I have it, so there you go. There's a US playing card from the 92 series. Love this 92 Bowman set. And there's 92 uh, Donruss All-Stars. Donner's base card. We've got uh, 92 Fleer plus the All Star inserts plus this one that Polly Pax gave me, the uh, Performer Collection from the gas station. So 7 Eleven, Sitco, etc. You can see right there. And we have French's Mustard with Roberto Alomar, Ryan Sandberg, two second baseman. A bunch of Jimmy Deans from 92. We got his 92 Leaf plus, plus his Leaf Black Gold. A bunch of the checklists that also feature him. I actually like when they put uh, players on checklists and add a little fun to it. Uh, plus the little Black Gold of the checklist. And there's 92 Tops uh, OPG, the Canadian version of the Tops song. Uh, and then OPG Premier, which I didn't have until I opened uh, a box recently of OPG Premier, 92. And then we have a Pinnacle. I love these Pinnacle uh, techniques or technical kind of uh, breakdowns here. So that's really cool. Um, certainly a good guy to break down his feeling technique with that fantastic feeling percentage. There's 92 Post Serial. 92 score, plus some dream team shots, lots of those. There's another caricature for him, a 92 score all-star, 92 score superstar, 
92 score P and G from the All-Star game. Uh, there's Stadium Club, there's Stadium Club Members Choice. There's a good looking card for a studio. I love these Studio Heritage Series inserts where they have the guys in the old time uniforms. And then a bunch of uh, 92 tops. I don't have his gold one of his base card, but I do have the uh, gold winner of his All-Star. Plus the 1992 Tops Kids, which is a great set. There is Donruss Triple Play from 92, and then Fleer Ultra. Plus the Fleer Ultra uh, All-Star inserts. Upper Deck has a bunch of weird kind of odd sets. So we've got the base card. We've got this, uh, let's see if I can kind of give you a look here. Yeah, there's a little bit of a look of this. Um, it's a Grand Slam kind of. 10 of 26, it's a Grand Slam subset of these holograms. Then we have the uh, the All-Star Heroes, the regular version, plus the gold version, plus this uh, hologram one. Let's see if I can show you anything with that. But this, this is actually a really cool design, if I can get you anything here. Let me see if I can turn the light on and maybe get a better look. No. There's a little something. It's a really cool design, though. So, uh, And then this Home Run Heroes uh, insert set, which I don't even know what that is from 92... Uh, upper deck but a lot of a lot of strange things in that upper deck set 92 but a lot of cool things on to 1993 we have a uh, 93 diamond marks here from the box i bought got a couple from don russ there's fleer fleer there there he is with gary sheffield there's the hostess cupcakes and then we have uh, craft singles here with a pop-up card there's 93 leaf there's the Heading for the Hall insert series from Leaf, which is a very cool card. 8 to 10. Uh, Pinnacle. There's another all-star caricature for score. I think that's the last year they did that caricature. There's 93 score select, 93 top stadium club, and then top stadium club, second city sluggers with Ryan Sandberg on one side and Frank Thomas on the other. So a very cool insert card, double-sided insert card. There's 93 tops, 93 tops all-stars with uh, Carlos Baerga. There's a uh, 93 triple play, which I think is a great looking set. And I love this uh, insert series they have with that for the uh, nicknames. So there's Rhino right there. And then the action baseball, which is the scratch off game from that. Uh, Upper Deck Community Heroes talks about his uh, charitable work. There he is in uh, the base set with a great leaping grab. Uh, the Ivy Leaguers with, uh, who's that, Kerry Wood? No, Randy Myers. Randy Myers, uh, Ryan Sandberg, and Mark Grace. And there's the uh, checklist as well as the uh, on deck insert from uh, from uh, upper deck there. Moving on to the very end of his career, so he actually did not play in 1995, and then came back for another couple of years uh, in 96 and 97. I don't have a whole lot of his later career stuff though. After 93, it kind of ends. I've got uh, 94 Oscar Mayer pop up. Um, we've got 94 Pinnacle, 94 Score, and uh, 94 Studio, which is a great looking card there. And then we got 1996 Circa. Uh, 90, this is 97 tops, I think, right? 96 tops. 96 tops. I got a handful of those. Uh, good, good little uh, Fleer Fleer Flare there. Um, then this, uh, what is this? This is Upper Deck Season Highlights. And then uh, the Fleer Ultra. And then uh, 2010 Turkey Red. I don't know how I got that one. I think it just showed up in one, some collection I bought somewhere. Um, so there you have it. There's my full collection. If you guys have any. Uh, later day Ryan Sandberg cards, I'm all ears. And if you noticed, when I showed you the rookies, I have his Fleer rookie, his Topps rookie, but no 83 Donruss rookie. So if you guys want to send me an 83 Donruss Ryan Sandberg, I'd love to see it. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this peek into my personal collection. Um, you know, I'll probably have these for as long as I can. Um, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.